Aiden, La Luna, morning time, drinking my coffee and my bed, looking out the windows, sometimes a little cat that goes close by, hanging all our clothes, got it almost done? Almost all done. Even the towels, no. by hand. That's, that's hard. Back to the hurricane days. Yeah. Today for lunch, Aiden's having Cheerios and kidney beans. And we are having a nice salad, cottage cheese, uh, kidney beans, lettuce, croutons, and a nice malta. about our turtles but we have a couple of uh, tortoises that live over here and these are the some of the best little pets they they don't really eat very much at all just a couple pieces of lettuce um, maybe some strawberry tops and just have to water them every so often right now they're really small but eventually they'll get bigger um, but they're they're pretty cool. Eventually it'd be kind of fun to have them wandering around the, the property. You ready for us to fill up this pool? What are you doing, Dada? Getting ready to hang some hammocks in the trees. Yay! <laughs> Okay, time to test the hammock. Oh, oh nope. Needs to go higher. <laughs> oh no, and the rain's coming. You can duck in the truck. Are you, are you driving, Eden? It's raining. Um, today we are just staying home. We feel a little bit more energized from seeing the, you know, the outside world that it isn't all doom and gloom. Um, today we are going to hang a hammock. We're going to maybe mow a little bit. It's, we thought we maybe we'd get in the, the baby pool with Aiden, but it's kind of off and on raining, so uh, we might not do a whole lot of that. Uh, as far as this whole outbreak, lockdown situation, not a whole lot has changed. The governor of Puerto Rico has requested that all flights from the U.S., domestic flights, and I, I don't know about international, but domestic at least, um, be suspended for 14 days also. And so um, in order to do that, the FAA would have to approve that, which seems like a pretty major thing because of, uh, you know, stopping all movement of people, you know, separating families from each other, many, many different um, scenarios, there are emergencies. This is called a suppression event that we're trying, attempting here in Puerto Rico. And so with a suppression, you are trying to make it so that you stop it all in its tracks for 14 days, because that's about how long it takes for the virus to run its course. So all the people who currently have it would be getting sick and better in their homes, and then when they're out in public, they're naturally inoculated. Um, in 14 days. However, if we have people coming from the states who are still actively sick, then we'll, we're just going to start all of this over again in uh, 14 days. So that's why suspending travel would be important. However, suspending travel for only 14 days only only makes it another 14 days before we'd have to do this again, uh, unless until the whole thing's over. So, I mean, this is we keep prolonging this. Um, so we don't know how long this will take. It really seems like kind of a, a political move because. Uh, yeah. If the U.S. says no, then the Puerto Rican governor can say she did everything she could. Um, and if the U.S. president says yes, then uh, you know no one can blame her for for not doing everything she 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 could. So, but um, as far as on the home front, we're doing okay. We're just um, kind of hanging out, making some food, um, cleaning. We got all of our laundry Angel. done. <laughs> so, taking care of Aiden. He is so active. <laughs> he it's so. Uh, since we've um, haven't had daycare, <laughs> good job. 
that. It's uh, reminded us how much work he really is uh, to be around 24-7. Um, he's, he's a really good kid, but he just needs to be doing something new all the time, which is why daycare is so good. He gets that social outlet and he gets to play. Um, so with us, we're kind of boring. <laughs> But uh, otherwise, we're hanging in there, um, getting a little bit more used to this, this strange new world that we're, that we're in. And um, we're still very, very grateful to be here on a large property that feels like a park versus a, a tiny little apartment or something that would be, uh, become claustrophobic uh, pretty quickly. So um, trying to count the blessings. Beautiful flower coming in. This is called a sexy pink heliconia. This flower is a shell ginger. They're full bloom right now. Many places. Another one. This is actually an edible uh, plant also. You can make teas and things with that and the root can be used as a galangal substitute. It's a shame these uh, flowers are gonna go to waste because they are in their prime. There's another one back there. Of Mexican gold. This big bunch still has a little ways to go because you can tell the ridges are still pretty uh, hard. But And then look at these flowers here. This is a new bunch. It is now such a deep, almost vine, like a wine colored red. This flower. This is called a Pedro Ortiz Heliconia. And it is not a pendant, and it's not an upright. It's a it's a mix, so it kind of goes out almost to the side. It's very interesting. This bilimbe tree is a fruit in the family of star fruit, and it is always loaded. We have so much of it; it's always on the ground. <gasps> Aiden loves it. It's super super sour, but he seems to love it. Want another one, Aiden? this grosea tree. This thing is loaded <laughs> with these fruit. Amazing. Aiden and I are here hanging out in the hammock. Britain's up mowing. Sun is shining, but it's just a little bit drizzly. It's nice. 